I'm Erwin Timmers, and we're at the Washington Glass School um, in Mount Rainier, Maryland. Well, my specialty is, is recycling. Um, I recycle window glass, which is um, a material that nobody really um, otherwise would recycle. It usually ends up in, uh, in the dumpsters. When you see a you know, construction demolition site, you see piles of rebar that they separate out, the concrete they grind down, the windows just get tossed out with all the other crap. And so I take old windows um, and remelt them and create sculptures out of those. And because of the whole attention for the environment, um, interest in green living, and um, um, I've just now received a whole lot more attention. And a lot of people are asking specifically for recycled art and recycled um, um, sculptures. We are making lighting for the new National Harbor Gaylord Hotel. Um, the presidential suites um, all have a custom made, um, um, wanna, don't want to call it a bowl, but it's, it's, it's almost like a colored shield um, that kind of, you know, um, lights up the entrance way. And all made out of recycled glass, um, pieces cut up and then interspersed with color. And um, all the pieces leave their little, you know, image um, and create a very random, um, abstract pattern of color. You see that? How it runs. That's actually cutting it. Well, you just kind of score the top, and um, and then you break it. I start with um, sheet of window glass because we like to have um, one sheet as the base sheet um, that kind of gives strength to the whole piece. Um, and then I cut up individual pieces, um, lay those on top, and then intersperse a color. The color is a special type of glass that comes from Germany um, because there's not many people or not many companies out there that make glass that is compatible with window glass. And all the recycled glass is all window glass. So we've had to kind of look far and wide to find color that will actually work with this. It's not, um, it's, it's available through, you know, different people in the United States, they import it. Um, but it's not the same kind of glass as like stained glass or other art glass that's melt for, meant for melting together. Yeah. It basically first gets fired flat um, into the disc. And then we have these ceramic molds like this one over here um, that then shape it into the 3D shape. Inspiration for me, um, a lot of it just comes from like images that, that plop through my mind. I spend a lot of time in the day also just kind of like observing patterns and things around me in the environment. Um, sometimes I'm just spaced out in traffic, just like looking at something, you know, and then I realize, oh shoot, you know, I could use that in a piece, just a visual pattern or something like that. Um, and then a lot of my, um, the substance or the, the, the kind of like the themes that are underlying go back to like, you know, what, what I, kind of see as my cultural heritage of, you know, being a, um, coming from a very thrifty culture, um, not, not wanting to, not wanting to mess up, you know, what's not really mine kind of thing, you know, yeah, yeah. What I love is the American Indian philosophy, you know, that basically the land is not yours, you know, you're just kind of like living on it for a bit, and, but it's, it's, it's not yours to, to deal, it's not, they didn't have, you know, land was not a property. And um, I love that philosophy, and I, I kind of, you know, feel a lot, big kinship to that. Um, and I, I feel the same way about how I treat my environment. You know, I, I feel like I don't want to impose, you know, my presence and leave it, leave the environment off worse for for me being there. You know, and especially now that I've got kids, um, I definitely feel bigger responsibility even to, you know, leave things behind in a better way than hopefully than we found it. And in a more beautiful way. There you go. <laughs> in a more beautiful way, yes. Aesthetically beautiful. That's right, that's right, yeah. <laughs>